بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الدرس العشرون lesson number 20 قراءة في جريدة عربية a reading or reading in an Arabic newspaper قرأ جان في الصفحة الأولى العنوان البارز التالي John read in the first page في الصفحة الأولى العنوان the title البارز the bold title التالي the following رسالة مهمة من ملك السعودية إلى ملك الأردن عن مشكلة فلسطين رسالة is a letter مهمة is uh, important right so this is a sifa an adjective describing risala risalatun muhimmatun an important letter min malik malik is uh, a king malik is saudiya so this is a mudaf and mudaf ilay the king of saudi arabia ila to malik al urdun the king of jordan an about mushkilati filistin the problem of palestine وَقَرَأَ فِي صَفْحَةِ أَخْبَارِ الدَّوْلَةِ And he read وَقَرَأَ فِي صَفْحَةِ أَخْبَارِ In the page of the news الدَّوْلَةِ of the country القاهرة So here القاهرة is uh, <coughs> Cairo So they're saying you know that this is taking place in Cairo قَالَ وَزِيرُ الصِّحَّةِ إِنَّ أَسْعَارِ الْأَدْوِيَةِ بَاقِيَةٌ بِدُونِ زِيَادَةٌ So Wazir al-Sihha, Wazir is a uh, minister, like as in like a prime minister or a minister of education, like the government post. So the Wazir of Sihha, of health, so the minister of health said, Inna, indeed, as'ar, the price, the prices, right, as'ar is the plural of si'ar. So si'arun is a price, and then the plural, as'ar, this is a Jamu taksir, a broken plural, and this is one of the most common uh, patterns for plurals. Fal, asal, asal al adwiya, adwiya is uh, medicines, is baqiyatun, is remaining bidun without ziyada, without any increase. Ziyada is increase. So baqiyatun here is actually on that pattern of the ism fa'al. This is the ism fa'al from baqiya yabqa. So baqiya he remained yabqa he remains. And then the ism fa'al baqin and here because it's describing uh, as'ar which is a a uh, non a plural of non intellect, right? That's an inanimate object. So when we have plurals of inanimate objects, we treat them like singular feminine. So baqin becomes baqiyatun with the uh, ta marbuta. So the prices are baqiyatun are remaining bidun without any ziyada, without any increase. But in the dawlata, and indeed the country, ta'amalu, works ala tawfir al-adwiyya fi al-sayidaliyyat wal mustashfayat. So the dawla is working, ta'amalu, for tawfir. Tawfir means for something to be plentiful, right? To be, uh, to be in use or to be uh, a widely available, right? So, so fear for something to be abundant or widely available. So here they're saying they're working for to have the adwiya, tawfir al adwiya, uh, you know, abundance of medicines, meaning for them to be available as needed. The saydaliyat in pharmacies, right? Saydaliyat. Here is the plural of Saydaliya. Right? Saydaliya is uh, a pharmacy, and Saydaliyat 
is the plural, pharmacies, and mustashfayat is uh, hospitals, the singular of which is mustashfa. Mustashfa. Mustashfa is a hospital, mustashfayat, hospitals. وَقَرَأَ فِي صَفْحَةِ أَخْبَارِ التِّجَارَةِ وَالْمَالِ And he read in the page of the news of business and money. Abu Dhabi دخلت المرأة في, في الخليج العربي ميدان العمل في البنوك وإن المديرات والموظفات في بعد البنوك الآن جميعا من النساء. So he says, so in Abu Dhabi, in the Emirates, دخلت المرأة, the woman, المرأة, so here this is talking about the gents, like women in general, have entered في الخليج العربي, in the Arabian Gulf, ميدان العمل. The uh, Maidan is a word that means like a center or a square or even like when you talk about a battlefield they call it the Maidan but here Maidan al Amal uh, meaning the workplace basically they've started to work they've entered Maidan al Amal they've entered into the workplace fil Bunuk in banks right Bunuk is the plural of bank wa in al Mudirat and indeed the um, managers this is uh, the feminine plural from mudir. So mudir is a manager. Uh, and then if we wanted to make it feminine, we'll say mudira. And then the plural from mudira, mudirat. And then al muwadzafat we've learned al muwadzaf before, an employee. So here al muwadzafat female employees. Fi ba'd al bunuk, in some of the banks, al an, now, jami'an, all of them, min al nisa. All of them are women. وَقَرَأَ فِي صَفْحَةِ الرِّيَاضَةِ And he read in the page of sports Judda In, in uh, Judda, the city in Saudi Arabia تَجْرِ الْيَوْمَ بِجَامِعَةِ الْمَلِكِ عَبْدِ الْعَزِيزِ بِجُدَّةَ مُبَارَاتٌ فِي كُرَةِ الْقَدَمِ So, uh, he's saying there's happening today in the university بِجَامِعَةِ الْمَلِكِ عَبْدِ الْعَزِيزِ In the university of King Abdul Aziz in Jeddah or in Jeddah, Mubarat uh, match fi Kurat al Qadam in football. Bain al Bain a Farik al Jamiati, wa Fariki Jamiat al Riyadi, fi Sa'at al Tharithati, wa Nisfi Masa'an, ala Mel al Bil Jamia. So this is continuing from the sentence from the last page. This match is taking place. Bain a Farik al Jamia, the team of the university. Right, so Fariq is a team or a group, so the team of the university. Wa Fariqi Jami'at al Riyadh, and the team of the University of Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia. Fisa'at al Thalithati, in 3 o'clock, wa Nisf, or so 3.30, Masa'an, in the evening or in the afternoon. Ala Mal'ab al Jami'ah, upon the stadium or the field of the university. So Mal'ab is the place where games take place, like a stadium. وفي صفحة الإعلانات قرأ الإعلان التالي In the page of advertisements, إعلانات قرأ He read الإعلان التالي The following advertisement ضاع جواز سفر المواطن, المواطن الباكستاني رشيد أحمد رقم خمسة اثنين أربعة خمسة نرجو نرجو الاتصال بالبهاتف السفارة الباكستانية رقم ستة أربعة ثلاثة واحد خمسة. So here they're saying ضاع جواز سفر المواطن الباكستاني. The uh, uh, passport has been lost. ضاع a passport of a uh, muwatin is someone, uh, a citizen, a Pakistani citizen, right? Al Muwatin al Pakistani, the Pakistani citizen, Rashid Ahmed. And they give the number of his passport, then they say, Narju al Ittisar. Raja, Yarju, so Raja in the uh, Madi, past tense, in present tense, Mudari, Yarju, is to hope. So Raja, he hoped, Yarju, he hopes. 
but sometimes you it's used as a nice way to make a request also. So if you say Narjul Ittisal Bihatif Sifaratil Pakistaniya the meaning really is please call on the phone of the Pakistani embassy. Literally you would say we hope for calling on this number, but really the meaning is please if you find the passport then call this number. And lastly, Akhiran, and lastly, Qara'a, he read Fukahat al the joke of the day. So Fukaha is a joke. Dakhala Shurtiyun Maktab al Dabit al Munawin. A police officer entered the office of the officer on duty. Wahua Yasihu. And he was yelling. Saraka al Lususu Sayara Tis Shurta. The thief al Lusus. Saraka stole Sayara Tishurta, the car of the police officer. Al-Dabin. He says, وَمَاذَا فَعَلْتَ أَنْتَ? And what did you do? Al-Shurti, the police officer, he says, الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ كَتَبْتُ رَقَمَهَا He says, all praises to God, I wrote the number of the truck. So let's read and listen and try to understand. قِرَاءَةٌ فِي جَرِيدَةٍ عَرَبِيَّةٍ قرأ جان في الصفحة الأولى العنوان البارز التالي رسالة هامة من ملك السعودية إلى ملك الأردن عن مشكلة فلسطين وقرأ في صفحة أخبار الدولة القاهرة قال وزير الصحة إن أسعار الأدوية باقية بدون زيادة وإن الدولة تعمل على توفير الأدوية في الصيدليات والمستشفيات وقرأ في صفحة أخبار التجارة والمال أبو ظبي دخلت المرأة في الخليج العربي ميدان العمل في البنوك وإن المديرات والموظفات في بعض البنوك الآن جميعا من النساء وقرأ في صفحة الرياضة جدة تجر اليوم بجماعة بجامعة الملك عبد العزيز بجدة مباراة في قرة القدم بين فريق الجامعة وفريق جامعة الرياض في الساعة الثالثة والنصف مساء على ملعب الجامعة وفي صفحة الإعلانات قرأ الإعلان التالي ضاع جواز سفر المواطن الباكستاني رشيد أحمد رقم خمسة اثنين أربعة خمسة نرجو الاتصال بهاتف السفارة الباكستانية رقم صفر ستة أربعة ثلاثة واحد خمسة وأخيرا قرأ فكاهة اليوم دخل شرطي مكتب الضابط المنوب وهو يصيح سرق اللصوص سيارة الشرطة الضابط وماذا فعلت أنت الشرطي الحمد لله كتبت رقمها Okay, now we're going to look at one of the exercises here from this chapter where they're starting to introduce new uh, awzan or patterns for af'al, for verbs. So here they say, Tadrib Raqam Ithnain, Lahid al Farq fil Ma'na bain al Fi'lain, Kharaja wa Akhraja, fil Jumlatain al Atiyatain. Saying, Notice, lahad, this is a command. Lahada, yulahidu, is to notice something. So here the command, lahad, al fark, the difference in meaning, fil ma'ana, bain al fi'lain, between the two verbs, kharaja and akhraja. And so here they give us the sentence, kharaja tiflu min al manzil. The child went out from the house or the apartment, or the place of living, basically, manzil. Akhraja al abu al tifla. من المنزل. The father made al ab أخرج. He made the tifl to go out, the child to go out. He made him to leave from the menzil, from the living place. So basically, what we have here is this pattern, f ala. So what you're doing is this is one of the patterns of mazid fi, meaning a pattern that has extra letters added to it. So here we've taken fa'ala. And we've added this Hamza at the beginning and changed it to Af'ala. And what this does is it takes a word, or it takes a fi'al, a verb, and it makes it transitive. Meaning it makes it 
give the meaning of that action, uh, making the action being done to something else, right? So if I give you an example, um, if we take the word, for example, jalasa, he sat, right? Jalasa, he sat. If I want to say he made someone sit, then I add that Hamza at the beginning. And then because of that, this changes it to a sakun ajlasa. Ajlasa, he made someone sit. And the muldari form from, that, from this pattern is yuf'ilu, yujlisu. Yujlisu. So af'ala yuf'ilu, ajlasa yujlisu. And it has the meaning of making the verb transitive, making it take a direct object instead of just being something that uh, is just done, like sitting, it becomes something that's done to something else, like making someone to sit. So here we have examples, right? Semi'a means to hear, esma'a means to make someone hear, right? So kharaja, same example from the um, sentence here, if we say akhraja, to make someone go out. Nazala means to descend or to come down, right? So anzala means to make something descend or make something go down, right? And so this verb comes a lot in Quran, right? The Allah anzala al-kitab, he made the book come down. Jalasa, the example I use here, jalasa, he sat. Ajlasa, he made someone sat. Balagha, he reached to a certain point. Ablagha, he made something to reach to somewhere. Or it can also mean he informed someone, right? Because he made this speech reach to someone. Nahalda, to stand up. Anhalda, to make something stand up. Qama, also to, to stand. Aqama, to make something stand. Fahima, to understand, to, to grasp something, a concept. Afhama, to make somebody understand. Uh, it's very simple, right? This is the same pattern, and this is basically qiyasi. You can do this with almost any uh, verb that you know. You can put it in this form of adding that hamza at the beginning to make it transitive. And if the word is already transitive, then it makes it uh, transitive to more than one direct object. So, for example, if we say, right, like, uh, we use our classic example, ضَرَبَ Zaydun Amran Zaid hit Amr we can change that to Adraba Zaidun Amran Khalidan. Right, add one more person to the picture. So Dharaba Zaidun Amran Zaid hit Amr. But if I say Adraba Zaidun Amran Khalidan, then the meaning would be Zaid made Amr hit Khalid. So it, this pattern can be made from a word that's intransitive to make it transitive, or you can take a fa'ad, a verb that's already transitive, it already has a direct object, but then when you put it in this form, it'll make it take two direct objects. Like here, Amr and Khalid are two direct objects. And here we have another similar exercise, but with another pattern, which is the pattern fa'ala. Right, so if you look, fa'ala, right, you're, at, oops, that doesn't go there, they're adding an extra ayn in the middle of the word. Fa'ala becomes fa'ala. This also has the same meaning as af'ala, to make a intransitive verb transitive, um, but it has a little added meaning which is for the verb to happen over and over again, right? So like we had before, the verb nezala, right, means to descend, to go down, right? Nezala, he went down. Enzala, to make something go down, right? To cause something to descend or to send it down. Same meaning is in the word Nazala. Nazala also means the same as Anzala, to make something descend or to make something go down. But it has the added extra meaning of 
that happening over and over again, right? Anzala is just like he sent it down once, but Nazala, he made it come down over and over again. And that's why in Quran, you'll see sometimes that Nazala is used to talk about the Quran, while Anzala is used to talk about other uh, holy books because Quran came down uh, piece by piece over a long period of time, whereas other books came down all as once, all at once. So if we look at the examples here, Kharaja, right, he went out. Kharaja, putting that Shadda on the middle letter on the raw. Kharaja. Sorry. Means to make something go out, just like Akhraja, right? Wasala means to arrive to a certain place. Wasala with a Shadda on the sod means to cause something to arrive or cause something to reach to a certain place and you can do that you know for so many different words right um, right here Arafa for example he knew Arafa to make someone know uh, and same thing with Alima right Alima he knew we say Alama means to make someone know, or literally we translate as to teach, right? Allam al Quran, he taught the Quran, right? He made it known. Also, another concept they're introducing in this chapter is using the harf inna for tawkid, for emphasis, right? So, inna can enter upon a sentence, a mubtada, and a khabar. And what it does is it makes that mubtada become mansub, it gives it a fatha, and we no longer call it a mubtada, actually now we'll call it the ism of inna, and then the khabar is still the khabar, but now we'll call it the khabar of inna. And what it does is it makes, it, uh, it gives emphasis, right? So here, at-tabibu mahirun, the doctor is, you know, very skilled. Inna tabiba mahirun is like indeed the doctor is very skilled. I mean, it doesn't translate great in English because no one would really say it like that, indeed. But it, it, <laughs> it has that meaning of giving a big emphasis, right? So, al-ghurfatu marihatun, the room is comfortable. We would say, in al-ghurfata marihatun, indeed the room is, is nice and comfortable. Al-funduku ala shati in nil the hotel is on the uh, banks, the bank of the Nile. In al ala shati in nil Indeed, the hotel is on the bank of the Nile. Al kitabu jayyidun, the book is good. In al kitab jayyidun, indeed, the book is good. Al fatatu jamilatun, the young girl is beautiful. In al fatata jamilatun, indeed, the young girl is beautiful. And just like that, very simple, right? Inna comes at the beginning of a sentence, it enters upon the mubtada, the subject of the sentence, they give emphasis, and it causes that mubtada to be mansub, it takes that fatha, and uh, we no longer call it the mubtada, now we call it the ism of inna. And the khabar stays just like it is.